So here's lesson six and eleven hundredths, angle measures as additive. Why are we doing this lesson? Well, we're trying to improve our problem solving skills in angle measurement and understand the makeup of different types of angles. Let's say that I have an angle, and actually it's three angles within, um, and our, our big angle right here is angle BAC and, or BAD, I'm sorry, and then we have a smaller angle that's BAC and a smaller angle that's CAD. Now you can notice here that I have lots of little arrows going on and what I want you to focus on is this arrow from this side to all the way to here is covering this large angle right here. And so the information that I'm giving you, I'm telling you that this angle right here is 85 degrees. And this smaller angle right here from this arrow to this arrow is 40 degrees. Now your unknown is going to be this angle right here that I put in a different color. And we're going to call that angle X, or that's what we're looking for, to form our angle BAC. So this is kind of the angle that we don't know right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an equation using the numbers that we have and we're going to try to find the measurement for angle um, BAC. So I know that this entire large angle right here is 85 degrees. This angle is 40 degrees. So in order for me to figure out what this angle is, I am going to do what? Am I going to add? Am I going to subtract? I could actually do it both ways, but what we're going to do is we're going to write an equation that says 85 degrees minus 40 degrees equals x. Okay, that's going to give me this number right here. So off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and subtract that out. Not that I couldn't probably do it in my head, just to make sure I don't make a mistake. Okay, so I'm getting 45 degrees for this angle right here. So that means that angle BAC should equal 45 degrees. Okay, so basically we're taking those angle measures that we're given and we're using them to find our unknown. Let's take a look at this one down here. I have this very large angle GBC and it says from here all the way to here measures 120 degrees. I have angle FBC and it measures 45 degrees, and I'm trying to find this angle right here, GBF. So this is my mystery angle, my unknown, letter X there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the numbers that we have. We have 120 and we have 45. We're going to make an equation. So I can take 120 minus 45 and put my degree signs in there and do that off to the side here. Should be 75 degrees, so that means that angle GBF should equal 75 degrees. Again, I'm taking those angle measurements that I do have to come up with that missing angle X. In class, we will practice finding unknown angles and we will check our work with protractors. See you then.